Hey everyone, my name is Rui and we are here. This is going to be the round one of the playoffs for the UBL the Ultimate Battle League. And uh, this is going to be a really, really interesting match. We are up against the token minority Sticks, TTM Sticks, and uh, this is an incredibly um, wild match. He is legitimately one of the strongest battlers in here. And um, okay, let's just get right into it. We see the Mew, Koma O, Aerodactyl, Persian, um, Seismitoad, and Magnezone. Okay, so right off the bat, I mean, no Decidueye is nuts to me, no Gardevoir is bananas to me, and, but most of all, most of all, no Scolipede is the biggest surprise to me, 100% the biggest surprise to me. I kind of over-prepared over quite a bit for that uh, Scolipede, but we have what we have here. I brought a very, very unusual team. And honestly, I kind of just want to lead off with... I kind of just want to lead off with my Swellow now. My Swellow was really designed to kind of deal with the... Partially the, the Decidueye and partially the uh, Scolipede, but being in this position is really interesting. I don't, mm, and I also, of course, forgot to take a screenshot, but we will do that in just a second. I'm not too worried about it this time. As long as I can do whatever I need to do, this is a reasonably stressful match, so um, I'm not going to add on more stress by worrying about this screenshot. I do how I do really need it, though. So, leads off with the, skull, with the Seismitoad. I 100% expected the Seismitoad lead, but it's not like I have the best answers for it, in all honesty. And I am a Scarf Swellow. But I am going to get the bottom screen real quick. Now, I wouldn't be surprised at all if this thing just tries to fire, just to get just to get rocks up. If he goes for the Ice Beam, then fine. But, um, I think for right now, um, getting off some Boom Burst damage would be beneficial to me. Uh, in the longer run. So, let's see. Let's see, if this thing's just max Boom Burst, should be a 2-hit KO, unless this thing is reasonably especially defensive, which I could reasonably expect it to be. I'm going to go ahead and click Boom Burst, right? I feel like there's no real reason to want to click uh, Air Slash, other than maybe the Coma O coming in. But I'm just going to click Boom Burst. I just need some damage onto this thing. And I have to imagine you just get a Brock's turn one. Maybe try to knock me off. Um, but I re I feel like I take an Ice Beam reasonably. Now what I could do is I could go into Scizor and try to defog straight away, but getting another Boom Burst off is important to me reasonably. I could go into Magnazone, be Scarfed Magnazone. Um, I am Scarfed Swellow, so he would have to... Mm, I don't know. It does let me get another Boom Burst off. And I have to imagine he would just go for an Ice Beam right now. It goes for a Knock Off. So Knock Off's my Scarf. And that's totally, totally fine. And if I was Specs... Oh! No, no, never mind. Okay, no, no, never mind. Um, if I was Specs, that would have been a 2 KO. But I can just U-turn out, try to go into my Scizor now. This thing could Scald burn my Scizor, which would be super duper unfortunate, but um, my Scizor is super just physically defensive, just just a physically defensive wall. Um, I really misbuilt for the team that he brought. I was really worried about the Scolipede. Um, see, the thing is here... Boom Burst could get me the KO right now, but... Should I expect anything with U-Turn? He, I mean, he would want to bring in the Magnazone, which is too slow unless it's Scarfed, and in which case it gives me some freedom to kind of switch around. Um, I don't think he'd really want to switch anything in. I'm just going to click Boom Burst again. Like I said, this Seismitoad does stay in. does withdraw, sorry. It goes into the Aerodactyl. But... The thing is... I don't mind at all going into... 
Okay, here's the thing, right? I have the freest of options to either go into the Milotic or the Scizor. Scizor gets off the Defog. Milotic puts on a little bit more pressure. I, Scizor puts on just as much pressure, but this thing could very possibly have an Ice Fang on it. Uh, also, let me just try to gauge based on that damage because I know, I know Styx likes to bring more defensive Aerodactyls without investing a whole ton into speed. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, that's right in line with a no bulk Aerodactyl, which is interesting. I guess maybe he had to invest a, a lot into speed because of, um, my Swellus B tier, but I don't know. That's interesting. Boom burst to a no bulk Aerodactyl, regular Aerodactyl. Uh, looks like it's doing 37 to 45, which is right in line. Okay, I could see a little bit of special, of defensive investment, but still not much. Less than I would have expected. Um, and unless he makes the really hard prediction and goes for Fire Fang now, then I think I should be relatively safe with this, um, switch in here. Does Mega Evolve. If he clicks Fire Fang, then he got me good. I don't know what to say. I really don't know what to say. But then realistically, we just play the same kind of mind game, um, next turn. Anyway, we do avoid. And I'm just gonna defog right the heck now. I'm just gonna defog right the heck now. I have no reason not to. Um, it would, I guess, invite in... What does invite in? It might invite in the Mew. I could see the Mew, I guess. That's gonna be this thing. Okay. That's fine. I could have U-turned. I should have U-turned. But, what can I say? I didn't U-turn. Um, so, let's see. I should realistically figure out how defensive this thing is, or how offensive it is, for that matter. Let me see. What's this thing called? Persian. This is a Persian, right? So, if it's a max HP Persian, then Bullet Punch would do about 20%. He doesn't know that I don't have... I'm gonna click Toxic. Yeah, I, I could feel the parting shot coming. Toxic felt like my best play. He could go into the Magna Zone to threaten HP Fire, but at the same time, I could fear reasonably have U-Turn. He has to know... He has to think that I have U-Turn on this set realistically right now, even though I don't. My entire set is Bullet Punch, Toxic, Roost, and Defog. Um, does go into the Magna Zone, so it is a waste of turn, but... Um, I have to reasonably expect the HP Fire to come in. Could have HP Ice, so I'm not too, too sure about any type of a switch into to Garchomp. This whole core of, um, of my Scizor, my Garchomp, and my Milotic is going to cause a whole lot of head games, so I have no idea what's about to happen. I also don't know if this thing is Scarfed or not. I really have to figure that out. I really, really have to figure that out. I kind of just want to go into my... I kind of want to go into my Incineroar. How much do I need Incineroar? I really do want to get a few knockoffs off before the match is over, but Incineroar doesn't do... Okay, I could I could definitely make this Incineroar play. And no matter what, I think my play is going to be to U-turn. If he is Scarfed and he attacks into my Incineroar, then fine, I can U-turn out. If he Volt Switches out right now, that would probably be his best play. Um, I mean, I, I still threaten with... Garchomp. He's really considering whether or not I'm gonna make... Oh, no. I didn't click switch. I'm so sorry. I'm genuinely really sorry. Okay, I just clicked switch. No? Oh, Magnet Pull. I can't be switched out. I can't be switched out with Magnet Pull. I have to Bullet Punch into this thing. I did click click switch repeatedly, but um, Magnet Pull is gonna keep me in here. Does it have the Hidden Power Fire? That's gonna... Mm, that's gonna be it for my scissor. I'm really sorry. I genuinely didn't uh, notice. I kept trying to press switch like over and over again, and I just didn't read that I can't be switched out. I'm really sorry about that. Um, but I mean, there's no, there's nothing I could really do. There's really nothing I could do. I'm not noticing any 
super obvious item. Unless um, that hidden power damage revealed specs. Magnazone. I feel I feel really dumb about that. I genuinely was not even thinking about Magnapool in that situation. Um Yeah, a regular ass timid choice scarfed uh Magnazone. Actually, so this does confirm it, it confirms that it's timid, at least. But the because the damage is right in line with what a m scarfed max special attack Magnazone should do, that's kind of what I'm gonna assume for right now. And the fact that this is locked in a hidden power fire really makes me want to go into my Deancian click. Um and click Moonblast, but I don't think I'm going to two hit KO the Mew. I mean, I could if it's super not defensive, but I my sense of things is that Styx really likes his, um, his defensive muse. At least, like, max HP. So let me see here. What I should have done is gone into Garchomp. Well, now that I know that's in Power Fire, I could have freely gone into Garchomp and gotten Stealth Rocks up for pretty free. Okay. I think I already misplayed, but you know what? I think we're, I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. What I really should have done is gone into my Lodic and just been real and really tested out that uh, Scarf. But, what did I want to see? Oh yeah, Mega Diancie against a Mew. Moonblast to a max HP Mew does about half. Um, I kind of want to click Knockoff. What would be his best switch in? He would probably want to sack off the Seismitoad here. He would probably want to sack off the Seismitoad here. Uh, I'm gonna click U-turn. Okay, so again, for right now, I'm gonna assume that this thing is Scarfed. Um, and I don't really have a ton to deal with a decently Scarfed, um, Magnazone. But we do do a decent amount to this thing, which is, um, pretty important. Um, the thought of this thing having HP Steel really messes with me, so... It's actually going to prevent me from wanting to go into my Diancie right now. I think getting up my Flame Orb um, for right now is going to be beneficial. I could... Let me see something. The Seismitoad could have Water Absorb, which is, which sucks for right now, but I really do want to just Ice Beam. He could go straight into the Magna Zone, right? He could definitely go straight into the Magna Zone. If he does that, is, is doubling in a Garchomp even worth it at that point? I don't know. Because I re what, what I really want to do is I want to click Toxic. Um, but anything... Even the Magnazone... Okay, even if the Magnazone comes in... Assuming that is choice, I feel like I can... Handle it. I'm going to click Toxic. I'm just super curious. I'm super curious as to... Whether... Um... Magnazone would be a switch in right now. does go into the Seismitoad. So, okay. Oh, man. That's heckin' early. Okay, it is very early to be battling, and, um, obviously not next week, but, uh, I don't know. This just feels, I just feel off right now. You could get, ro Ugh, this gives him rocks up again.
This gives him rocks up again. What I probably should do... No, should not do that. He's gonna get rocks up right now. And I don't think there's anything that I could really do about that. I'm gonna go into Incineroar here. He could... He has no reason to click Knock Off. He has no reason to click Scald or whatever the heck. Fuck. He has no reason not to just click Stealth Rocks right now. D doubles. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Well, I click knockoff real quick, like. What would he realistically is switching? Oh. Sorry about that. I slightly knocked the cable, but um, realistically, is he would want to switch into the Persian, I would imagine. But this is going to be, regardless, a very, very free U-turn. Or, not U-turn. Um, knockoff. I should have clicked U-turn, but... Um, the possibility of knocking something off right now was pretty darn tempting. And I guess he would want to go into the Aerodactyl right now. There's no reason, yeah, there's no reason not to want to go into, into Aerodactyl right now. Hmm. I'm gonna go into my Lodic, but the only question in my mind right now is, do I U-turn into it? And eat the damn- no. No, I just hard switch. I wouldn't be surprised at all if he tries to double, but I switched out first, so he doesn't double, so... Maybe going for another Stone Edge, but... It was for a Roost. Goes for a roost. Which is fine for right now, but the... But the matter of fact is that I have to pull a double right now. I have to pull a double right now, but what do I double into? Probably... Probably my Swellow. Probably my Swellow, right? The only thing... No, I would. I, I have to guard against the Magnazone switch in. So maybe Garchomp? Is Garchomp the play right now? It's either Garchomp or Incineroar, I'm thinking. Incineroar... And Sinor is probably the play. I think I have to go into Sinor. I need to get my own rocks up, but I'm so on edge because I have to prevent his from coming up. And I'm in a shitty position again because I really want to just click Knock Off to threaten a KO against this thing, but he could very... He roosted up, so he always has that switch available to him. If only you turn KO'd in this in this moment, but it, I know it doesn't. I know it doesn't. Knockoff is the only thing that KOs this thing right now, and. It just invites in... It just invites in... The Aerodactyl again. It just invites in the Aerodactyl again.
I feel like I have to click knock off though. Okay, I didn't... I didn't even consider this thing being faster. It's base 74, yeah. Okay, fair enough. Incineroar is deceptively really slow. It looks like it should be faster, but yeah. I... Seismitoad looks like it should be, like, cripplingly slow, but it's not. So, he got his rocks up, and they're here to stay because I don't... I no longer can defog. Um, I guess... It's not the worst thing in the world. It only super duper affects my Swellow and my Incineroar. But it's going to limit the switches, which really does suck. I think I need this Intimidate longer, so as much as I would love to stay in against the Aerodactyl play, I would have to go into my Milotic. And I'm going to have to... Yeah, it's really not even a question. I have no other play. I have no other play. I honestly got thought that he might try to pull a double into the Magna Zone. But... Again, my only play is to click Recover right now. And he's going to struggle to break this Milotic, but I'm also going to struggle against his Magna Zone. What I really want to do right now is just click Toxic against this thing. I know... Okay, what I'm thinking right now, my operating assumption right now is that this thing is going to be like a Nasty Plot Mew. Goes for Taunt? Okay. I can't Toxic the Mew. That's fair. That's fair. But, at that point... I see, I don't know how you could make a Mew against me and not go for, like, um... Go for Double Dance. And if it is Double Dance and Taunt, then Psychic would have to be your only attacking move. Which means that Incineroar would, would theoretically wall, but I don't know. I don't know what to think right now. So, probably not Nasty Plot, but I don't yet know. I don't yet know. What I'm thinking... I don't know what I'm thinking. I don't know. I could, I could sack the, the Swellow right now. I think that has to be the play, just to sack the Swellow. As much as I would love the Swellow to get one final hit off, I don't think it's going to happen. It does go for the Psychic. So it was very freely giving me an Incineroar play right there. But I think he knows as much as I do that my Incineroar switches in are very, very limited. And I have no other play but to play U turn, right? Clicks U turn himself. Again, just trying to limit my switches, but I still do have one solid Intimidate left in me. Um. I have one final Intimidate. And I will get decent damage onto this thing. That's a crit? That's a crit. Oh, Rocky Helmet. I no longer have a switch in. I can no I can't even intimidate anymore. I have a sack, I guess. This thing has to have hidden power steel, right? Do I take a Hidden Power Steal?
Uh, oh, Iron Tail. Wow, this thing gets Iron Tail. Could I risk it on an Iron Tail miss? Could I risk this on an Iron Tail miss? Uh, let me see. Persian. Uh, Mega Diancy actually takes an Iron Tail. Mega Diancy actually takes an Iron Tail. And because of Magic Bounce, he can't Parting Shot. Actually, would that force me to switch out? That would be bad. Gets a free, like, Roar. It forces me to switch out, yeah. I think it's time. That I feel I just have to try and go in. So Mew probably has Will O Wisp. The fact that it's not double dance kind of makes me think that it's more of a supportive defog Will O Wisp kind of situation. Um, it's for the foul play. I get off my own, um, Rocky Helmet damage. Unfortunately, it's not enough. That would be a, a pretty decent turn for me if that was enough, but... I think I'm just going to click Rock Slide, unfortunately. I think I'm kind of out of options and I kind of lose depending on how I can deal with the Magnazone, right? Because again, his team still struggle struggles to beat my Lodic. Um But if we're ever in a situation where but I can't I can't really break his Mew yet. And um I can't really break his Mew yet and I would struggle against the Magnazone. And if we're ever in a situation where we're down to Mew and... And, uh... Where we're down to Mew and... My Lodic, then i probably just forfeit because... I don't think I win that one. So I still have to think this through. I still have to think this through. We didn't get 6 owed. We, uh. Didn't even get 5 owed, but. It's really gonna be a matter of how to break down that Mew. And. The fact that he hasn't let his Mew take any damage yet, and still probably has Roost. It could just so if the fact that it has taunt makes me think Roost Willow is taunt, um, Roost Willow is taunt, psychic. No, then he wouldn't have defog. Psychic, taunt, are the two confirmed? Then Roost defog. That would be interesting. That would definitely be interesting. That would definitely be interesting. If that's the case, then if I am still able to get damage, the Como, okay. 
the fact that he brings this thing in, it just makes me think, right? That this Como's like weakness policy, autonomize. I don't even think I take it out with Dragon Claw. I don't have Dragon Claw. That's right, I took I took Dragon Claw off. He 100% clicks Autotomize right now. But... I don't think that this thing breaks through... I don't think this thing breaks through my Lodic unless it gets, like... It gets up real, real high. Mm, we don't take that. But... Still doesn't break my Lodic. Still doesn't break my Lodic. And I have to go into my Lodic and double. I wouldn't be surprised if he goes into Magna Zone, but at the same time, he has been... I could burn my my Incineroar switch right now. And I think I might. I think I might burn my Incineroar switch right now. No, I shouldn't do that. I shouldn't do that. Because I only have one other option right now. And no matter what, my only option to double into would be my Diancy. And if I think I'm going to go into Diancy, then I might as well just go into Diancy right the heck now. I don't remember what this thing is. Magnazone, of course. So here's the thing. If this thing goes for Flash Cannon, then... Yeah. Now I burn my... I, I, I st I'm still assuming that this thing is going to be choice locked, which is, I think, the only way that I win this match. But if this thing locks into Thunderbolt, then I can go into Diancy, get off a Rock Polish. If this thing goes goes for Flash Cannon, then yeah, I can go into my Lodic and get myself healthy up. I can get myself up healthy. And I can, yeah, I just get a Recover off. If this, thing, if this thing has not been choice this entire time, then there's nothing I could do. I just lose. I just lose. But you know what? It was a match. I was going to say it was a well-fought match, but it was a match. Um, I will be able to recover up, but it does give him the opportunity to just double back into the Magna Zone and potentially win from there. But if he locks himself into Thunderbolt, then that opens up a door for my Diancy to Rock Polish up. And I'm going to get taunted, so I might as well just scald. What I could do. I could double into... I could double into... Um... Diancy to... Bounce back the scald. To, to bounce back the taunt. If I bounce back the taunt, then I'm... Then, um, okay. If I bounce back the taunt, then I super have to be certain that this thing would not have flash cannon. But this thing could super duper have flash cannon. Regardless, I think the play is to bounce back the taunt. My Diancy can still win this match, which is nuts. Which is nuts. Goes for the U turn. Oh, we've seen U turns, so I know three moves. I don't know what the fourth move is yet. But that was a good play. That was a good play. Now we can go into Magna Zone. And I'm I'm not at the point yet where I know that my I don't even know if my dance can take a Thunderbolt yet. This is interesting. So I EV'd my Diancy to 100% take a hit from... To, no, sorry. To 100% outspeed a Como O. A max speed Como O. This thing could be scarfed. 
if it scarfs close combat, then I think... If he scarfs close combat, then he's giving me up to the... Then he's giving himself up to the Milotic matchup. But if he scarfs close combat, then... Let me see. Como-O. Against Diancy. Close combat. I think I have to switch. Right? He could be trying to autotomize right now, but autotomize doesn't beat me. I think he has to be Scarf Close Combat. I don't see any planet on which are not Scarf Close Combat. And I have to recover. And he knows that he's going to get a free switch into something. So let's go into the Magna Zone. I still don't know anything about this thing's damage output, other than it's quite possibly... Um, well, I know that it's not specs, but it's almost certainly Scarfed. Magna Zone, Scarf. Against my Lotic Thunderbolt does so much damage. And Skull just straight up doesn't do enough damage. But my only place is Skull. Goes for the Thunderbolt. And... The only real question... Could you get the burn? The only real question... Is if my Diancy can take a Thunderbolt. And I don't think I can. Assuming it's 252 Timid, I can't, my Diancy can't take a Thunderbolt, and I think that that's going to be kind of how the match ends. Um, realistically, realistically, yikes, I'm so sorry about that. Realistically, even if I did take a Thunderbolt, get a Rock Polish up, then I get hard stopped by the Mew. Because... Um... I didn't do enough damage to the Mew during the match, so... I think no matter what, the Mew, the Mew stopped my, my Diancy from winning and the Magnezone stopped my, uh, my Loaded from winning. And it's going to be super unfortunate, but I think that's just going to be how this match ends. As much as, uh... I really did think that we had a chance to win this. Actually, I'm not even too, too... Oh, no, never mind. I was going to say, I'm not even too, too sure that I outspeed um, Scarf Magnazone, but I, I, I EV'd my Diancy to outspeed something, so... I should be fine. And unless this is... Um, Unless this is a super... Unless this is not as invested as I thought this entire match, then I, I should not be able to take a Thunderbolt, and uh, that should be how the match ends. That's going to be it. My Diancy had a chance, but uh, unfortunately, that's going to be how the match ends. And that's going to be how our season ultimately ends. Uh, it was a really, really fun match. Just thinking about it now... And there were definitely a few things that I could have done differently. Like, uh, I think I got a little bit too excited in the beginning with seeing that opportunity to take out that seismic toad right off the bat and giving up the swallow for that was probably a bit too much. I probably could have done a little bit more to kind of deal with the seismic toad a little bit better, but my team wasn't that well prepared for seismic toad at all in general. That said, a few late game hits with a swallow 
might have been pretty huge. Other than that, I just feel super duper silly for not even considering Magnet Pull. I could have um, done a few things around that. If anything, I could have just um, brought U-Turn, but but I guess grand scheme of things, Scizor didn't do a whole lot for my team in general. And I think it just called my team pretty darn well. I brought a whole lot of mons for bonds that he didn't bring like the scolipede in general the scolipede uh, was a huge uh, kind of threat that was looming out there and i did a whole lot to try to counteract it and i built a whole bunch around that where uh, i could have devoted resources to the team that he did bring if i obviously had known that he brought it but that's how these types of things go i think he definitely definitely had uh, the upper hand in team preview and i did the best with what i could but i was definitely at a loss from the beginning but that's gonna be it for me that's gonna be it for this season uh for us and with that thank you guys once again so much for watching once again yeah.